Hello friends, welcome. Let us take one more case of assignment problem through HAM Hungarian assignment method. And as we know that in Hungarian assignment method, the first step is to subtract the lowest value of each row from the entire row. Let us make it in row A, the lowest value is 5, so subtract 5 from all the values of A, 10 minus 5, 5, 5, 9 minus 5, 0, 13 minus 5, 8, 15 minus 5, 10, 16 minus 5, 11. In second row B, lowest value is 3, subtract 3 from all, 3 minus 3, 0, 9 minus 3, 6, 18 minus 3, 15, 13 minus 3, 10, 6 minus 3, 3. In C, the lowest value is 2, that appears 3 times. That will be in our favor. 10 minus 2, 8. 7 minus 2, 5. 2 minus 2, 0 in all the 3 columns. In the row D, the lowest value is 7. 7 minus 7, 0. 11 minus 7, 4. 9 minus 7, 2. 7 minus 7, 0. 12 minus 7, 5. In E, the lowest value is 4. 7 minus 4, 3. 9 minus 4, 5. 10 minus 4, 6. 4 minus 4, 0. And 12 minus 4, 8. At the end of first step, lowest value subtracting from all the values of the row, we will have at least one zero in all the rows. But before applying or before going for the second step, that is to subtract lowest value from each column, let us check whether we have at least one zero in all the columns at the end of the first step itself. In first it is, in second it is, in third, in fourth and in fifth. After first step itself we have at least one zero in all rows and all columns. So there is no need of the second step. We can make assignment in this table itself. And the first step for making assignment is Find out the row with the single zero only and make assignment. The first row has single zero. So we have to make assignment. No other zero in this column is there. If there is any other zero in this column, we have to cancel it. In the second row also, there is single zero. Let us make assignment. And see, in same column, there is another zero. We have to cancel it. Because in this column, we cannot make another assignment. In the third row, there are three zeros, so it is not eligible at present for assignment. In the fourth row, there is single zero, but after cancellation, originally there were two zeros. So, leave it. In the last row, there is single zero. So, we have to make assignment. And we have to cancel all the zeros in same column. Now, after columns, this is turn of after rows, this is turn of column. Find out the column which has originally only one zero without any cancellation. Row rather column three has single zero, and we have to cancel the zero in same row. Now we have no open zero. And we have only 4 assignments. We have 5 workers and 5 jobs. So we have to make 5 assignments. So worker 5 is without any job. And job D has not been assigned to anybody. So this is not the optimal solution. So now we have to move forward for optimal solution. A very unique type of technique is there. First find out the row without assignment and make a tick mark to it just a tick mark sorry just a tick mark find out the row without any assignment and tick mark now, find out the zeros in the marked row. There are two zeros. Mark the column with these zeros. First and second. I repeat. First, find out the row without assignment. Mark it. Now, find out the zeros in the marked row. 
and mark the column with these zeros. Yes. Now find out the zeros with assignment in the marked column. In the marked column, zero with assignment. And mark the row with these assignments. Mark the column, assign zero and tick mark in the same row. Mark the column, assign zero, tick mark in the same row. Now what? Now cover the unmarked rows with a line. Cover the unmarked rows with a line. Cover the unmarked rows and marked columns. Yes. See, we have four lines because we had only four assignments. Number of assignments equals to number of lines. Every time that will happen. Now what? Now first observe the table. All the values can be classified into now three categories. First is open value which are not under any line or intersection of the line. Second, the values which are under the line but not at the point of intersection. And the third category is the values which are under the line under the intersection of two lines. Now what to do? Find out the lowest, lowest open value. Find out the lowest open value. What is the lowest open value? Lowest open value equals to 2. It can appear once or more than once. It is 2. Okay, now what to do? Subtract these two. From all open values. Add. Add these two. To all on point of intersection and no change in other values. That means the values which are not neither open nor under the point of intersection will remain as they are. And now we have to Draw table again. Okay. Let us follow these three steps. Subtract two. That means the lowest open value. From all open values. Now the 5 is at point of intersection, so we have to add 2, 5 plus 2, 7, 0 is not open, not on the intersection, so 0 remains 0, similarly 8 remains 8, 10 is on intersection, add 2, 12, 11 is not open, not on intersection, it remains as it is, 0 on line, so as it is, 6 minus 2 because it is open value, 4, 15 minus 2 because it is open value, 10 remains same because it is on line only. 3 minus 2 because it is open value. 8 is on intersection so add 2, 10. 5 is on line so it remains 5. 0 is on line so it remains 0. This 0 is on point of intersection so 0 plus 2, 2. This 0 is on line so it remains 0. This 0 is on line it remains 0. 4 is open value minus 2. 2 is open value minus 2. 0 is on line, so remains 0, 5 is open value, minus 2. E, 3 is on line, it remains as it is, 5 is open value, minus 2, 6 is open value, minus 2, 0 is on line, it remains as it is, 8 is open value, minus 2. Now this is our revised table, again, let us try for assignment. 
The same steps, first find out the row with originally single zero, first row itself, make assignment and cancel other zeros in the same column because they, uh, there is no other zero, so no cancellation. From top to bottom, B has also single zero, let us make assignment, cancel other zeros in the same column. C has two zeros, D has total three zeros, even after cancellation there is there are two zeros. E has only one zero, so we have to make assignment. Now it is turn of column, first column already assigned, second column already assigned, third column with two zeros, fourth column already assigned, fifth column has single zero. We have to make assignment and cancel other zeros in the same row. Now it is turn of single zero after cancellation. In the first row, no outstanding zero, second also, third also. In the fourth, after cancellation, since there is one zero left, we have to make assignment to that zero. No other zero outstanding in the same column, so no cancellation. See, either the zeros have been assigned for or the zeros have been cancelled. Now let us check whether all the rows and columns are with assignment. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes and yes. This is the optimal solution. Let us calculate the total time. What is the exact effect of this assignment? Employee job time. Employees are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. First employee is assigned job B. What is total time? 3. Second employee is assigned job A. What is total time? It is 5. Third employee is assigned job D. What is total time? It is 9. Fourth employee is assigned job E. What is total time? It is 4. And fifth employee is assigned job C. And the total time is 2. All the jobs can be completed in 23 hours. This is the time in hours. This is the lowest possible time. So this is the Hungarian assignment method where we apply the say all the steps of the method and arrive at the optimal solution of the assignment problem. Thank you very much.